to expose the top of the engine, you need to take the engine cover and air filter housing off. So pull up at the front, and at the back, there's a little vacuum hose on this left hand side, and similarly underneath here, another vacuum hose. Right, now you can see number one, number two and number three coil pack. I'm just going to disconnect the knock sensor. So pull back the tab, take off the uh, connector, undo one, two bolts with a TX30 screwdriver or TX30 socket bit. Now to lift the coil pack out, I recommend using a large flat blade, push it under the side there and turn, do each one gently, and out comes the coil pack. Also disconnect the harness here just to make it a little easier and perhaps here as well. Using the same method as we did for the knock sensor, disconnect the engine coolant sensor, just down there. The coil pack earth, and there we go. There are your coils. Lift the coil pack over to one side temporarily. That'll allow me to get to the spark plugs. 16 millimeter spark plug socket. Now when I'm putting spark plugs back in, whenever I do new spark plugs or put spark plugs back in, I always, using an old toothbrush, I just put a little bit of uh, copper grease into the threads. As I've shown you in other videos, by hand first, down into the hole, wind it backwards as if you're undoing it, and you'll feel the two ends of the two threads click over. At that point, start to wind it in normally. That way you avoid any possibility of cross-threading or uh, breakage. Tighten it down, just hand tight. Once you've got it hand tight, apply your ratchet handle and add a quarter of a turn. When you're putting this coil over plug holder back into place and you're screwing in the two torque screws, note that they'll be a little tight to screw in, like they were a little tight to screw out. And the reason for that is you can probably see the end of the screw has got a triangular shape to it. Those type of screws are called trilobular. So the three COP units are back into the holder. Drop them into place like so. You make sure. And tighten up the two two screws. Like I said, because they're trilobular, they require a little bit of effort to put them in. Make sure all the clips are back in place for the cables. Put the cables back into place, like so. Forget to reconnect the temperature sensor. This is the air outlet from the air box that connects to the throttle body. Toothbrush, I'm using a little bit of copper grease. 
All that remains is to put the air filter and engine cover back on. Start by lining it up at the, uh, at the oil filler. Don't forget to reconnect the breather hose. One there. And one here. I always then make sure I've got the throttle body connection into place next. So that's lined up and the throttle body connection's lined up. Push it down onto its supports. 